I'm here with Mike from Voltage and Company. We're talking about the uh, Melbourne Instruments Delia. Hey, Mike. Hey, Jim. How's it going? I'm glad you're here. Um, yeah, we've got the uh, Delia from Melbourne Instruments here uh, next to the, the Nina over here, which I know you guys are pretty familiar with. Um, yeah, we've got some new keycaps on this one as well. Uh, they're going to be selling new colored keycaps. Uh, I've got the green and the black on here. They'll come in a couple different colors. Um, maybe just talk about the difference between Nina and Delia a little yeah, bit. Yeah, because we've you know we've kind of covered the Nina a lot, but this one's not the same engine, right? Not the same, no. So the Delia, as opposed to Nina, is um, a hybrid synthesizer. You have uh, four VCOs. You have an analog low-pass filter, a digital two-pole high-pass filter. You have uh, switchable between 12 and 24 dB per octave. Um, you can also link these filters together to get a, a high-pass. Um, so this one is bitambral. Nina is four-part multitambral. Um, you kind of get more and less with Delia, with the addition of the, the keyboard, some different filters, uh, kind of a different sound, not analog, um, but still sounds great. You get all the, the same morphing motorized, um, motorized potentiometers um, technology in this yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah let's, let's hear some of it. Yeah, sure. Uh, probably one of my favorite things to do on this synth is uh, use this this morph functionality. Um, a lot of the presets that you'll get will obviously have this morph built in. Will be kind of change the sound as you play. But one of the great things is loading like two different sounds that are totally different. Uh, so I'll keep that that pad on and I'll put in maybe like a perk sound. Uh, let's do like a a tom or something like that. So now on sound one layer B, you have this tom sound, and on the other side you have that same uh, pad. But as you morph in between, you'll get that interp interpolation between both of those sounds. And you can automate that over MIDI CC, or you can um, assign like an LFO to it. So maybe let's assign LFO one here to the morph position. We'll get out of this up the level. It's a good way if you just, it's kind of like a happy accident machine. If you just put two presets together, you can find a sweet spot in the middle, um, save that, and then rinse and repeat, and you can get a ton of new presets all at once. Um, save them all. It's just a really good sound design tool. And with this one, I think with the addition of uh, the different filter types, yeah, what, um, what really have you good got for. Different? What, what, what's different in the filters? So on the Nina, you have the 24 uh, dB ladder filter. On this one, you do have an analog low-pass filter and a two-pole high-pass filter, um, and you can s they're switchable between 12 and 24 dB. You also have resonance for the high-pass as well, um, and obviously, by linking them, you can get a, a band pass here. Um, so really good for, for sound design, I think, in my opinion. Great. Mm -hmm. Play me some more. Play you some more. Let me get something something new in here. something on layer two.
are those single patches? Are they layered? What is it? What that, are we so that one was that one was layered. That's uh, two different uh, presets. So, are the are the oscillators analog or digital? Uh, the the oscillators are virtual analog. So the first two are based on just the classic virtual analog kind of um, waveforms that you would get. The third oscillator is a wavetable oscillator, and you're able to load your own uh, wavetables in there. The fourth oscillator is uh, noise um, and a couple other cool things, external input stuff like that that you can run it through the synth. Um, and just like Nina, this also has two digital effects at the end that you can set in series or parallel. It can be chorus, delay, reverb. Um, that sounds actually really good. Better than I think a lot of synths out there. The, the effects are really nice. Yeah, that's good. And how many voices is it? Uh, this is six voice and by it's timbral. By timbral. Okay. Uh, there is a 12 note mode on it as well. Um, it kind of, it's not exactly paraphonic. Uh, you split the oscillators and they're run through six analog filters so the filter chain is still where it's um where you're splitting kind of not true 12 voice polyphony okay yeah that sounds great and then what kind of availability and pricing are we looking uh, at? so these are available now in the u.s uh, they're 23.99 they're at all good synth shops all right thanks thank you mm -hmm.